Oh boy. Hey, afternoon everyone. So, in honor for the anniversary of the first IE Sleeper Breach Nostalgia from way back ago, <sighs> I mostly did this in honor for both Nick and Rosebud. Uh, so, like, while it was a pleasure to see, like, Nick again, like, like, well, during the mini ranking stream that I did, like, last week, uh, it's a real shame also to just wonder where everyone else has been and stuff. So, eh, well, they may have, like, gone on, like, at least we'll still be able to, like, remember what, about, you know, you know being there whenever, whenever possible. Hey, man. So as you can see, like I did change my profile in and yes, so while you may not know, this is Teapot from the random cartoons. And like, what was interesting is how Greg Eagles voiced this dude. He basically just used his Spurg voice, but like way up to the high pitch level to like 11. It's, it's, it's just so freaking bizarre. Unbelievable because the dude is awesome and I, for this special, so to speak, <laughs> I decided to just, yeah, just let out anything possible instead of just trying to think about, oh, what should I do? What should I do? Like, to have done this before? Why not just go crazy with it? Go nuts. Just reminisce as possible or something like that. Anything, just keep the flow going. It just gives a little bit of a boost of energy. So, uh, I just, and yeah, because like there was some there was some stuff back then that I was hoping would exist, but I was afraid that I would just waste time. So that's why I always like went back on like old stuff to just show. But so I'll just make it worth it, and to also be careful with it as well. Oh, right. I had to click on share. Anyway, all right. To start off, I believe that it. Eh, what the heck? Oh, no, no, wait, 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 that, that wasn't it. Yeah, so so with the music here from way back ago when I saw, like, um, the 90s T&J movie, uh, the music may be copyrighted, but it's just so awesome to just see how it was done. It was one of those many things... Try to replicate it. But unfortunately, I had to get this silent again. Copyrighted. And it just took me so long to figure out just how could someone be able to like draw that fast. But oh, yeah, it's just fast motion. And that's what I learned about like the camera, about how to like do that. Do something special with it if I wanted to. But it does take me way back to those old Nick bumpers where they show you how to draw certain characters. Like why can't other um why can't other like studios did that too? There was this one time with like Disney where it was like the behind the scenes of Phineas and Ferb. I believe that it was a how to draw period of platypus and doofenshmirtz one time it was one of those rare things you know like one of those things that you really see or remember but when it comes to me i might remember it because i have a little bit of a photographic memory it's, it's, it's like one of those things that nobody might remember like uh, people might have forgotten about it, but not me. <laughs> oh, look here. Hey, man. 
Hey, bros, what's up? Oh, hey, Blitz. Blitz? Oh, oh okay. Well, this is sky blue. Is the okay. grass green? How is it be with you two? Well, what better? Like, I needed to do this because of well, just personal personal things. But 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 yeah, like I'm I'm fine. Cool, cool, cool. Like you sure? Like everything all right with the? Oh no, I was trying to, I was trying to make an awkward intro from there. That's all. Oh, okay. just just to be serious. Just to be trying like funny. Like we already are as funny as you can be. No, that's why I was saying it's the sky blue, it's the grass green. How is it be with you two? Ah, oh, right. Yes, because awkward comedy, because it's a different type of comedy. Like, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, bro, but Ben Stiller already achieved that status. I saw it. I mean, duh, like that that's that's exactly I mean it makes so much sense. It took me way long to figure out, like, oh yes, I get it now. Because if you see him in movies like uh um, meet the parents or a little bit of Madagascar or something like that. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I had a pretty good day today. I got my ID. Oh, uh, it's a picture ID, but it's going to come in 10 days, but I got my ID taken. Wait, for for a license? No, like ID, ID. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And I got myself a new Deadpool shirt and ate at CC's at Garnsville. Nice. And, and how about you, Buzz? Me, this is pretty much chilling. Uh, oh, yeah, an update for you, too. My episode will be coming out tomorrow. Nice. Oh, my yeah, God. The dancing bro about return. What return? <laughs> Yo, I was, like, saying the dancing bro about return because you were saying yay and, and you were glitching at the same time. <laughs> No, I was saying sweet and a high pitched voice, but <laughs> you hear what you hear, but and uh, oh, yeah. all right. Hey, forget this. You you remember way long ago when you said when you said like we can't be able to like see the never gonna give you up by Ellie Monty? Well somebody else brought it back. Somebody else did. I mean, yeah, I've been knowing about that as well. Oh, Wait, oh you already brought back the original video? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because here's oh. the thing, though. No offense to Ellen Monty, because I know she's personal with her videos now, but it just sucks how she has to, like, private them. So, <laughs> let me get this straight, boys. Like, every video she's saying is in private? Yeah. For some damn, damn reason. Oh, my God. Right there. Well, thank the Lord. The power of AI to build the website you need. Okay, yes, we did play before. So we're safe. I'm like, I don't know about that. I mean, Ali Monty, cartoon, and a few game character impressions here and there. Never gonna give you up. My free casually featuring Black Griffin, Brian Hull, Brock Baker, and B Dog VA. Here we go. Also hire Brizzy voices too. Yeah, yeah, right. And speaking of which, <laughs> it's funny about what I'm about to do next, but uh... We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Do I, do I. A full commitment what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other Never gonna give, never gonna give. Never gonna give, never gonna give. 
Aching, but Carrick is too shy to say it. Inside, we both know what's been going on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play. I'm just one. <laughs> what the? What the? Oh, yeah. oh, for me, I was about to say, You cheated me? But I was like, uh. oh. I'm just <laughs> Oh, what happened? Okay, like for me, I was about to say, did he just like re re started it over because he started again with Dot, with Dot and and Jacob? I was like, oh, okay, never mind. The rest of the voices are there. Because, because get this, uh, what like what just happened was similar to like what happened like a long time ago when I was trying to like watch the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving special, right until the part where um, Peppermint Patty has invited um Franklin over, out comes the John Cena meme. But I was like, God dang it! Wow. And a lot of people said that there is something wrong with that scene. The fact that um um. Uh, Franklin's on one side and the others on the other side because he's by himself and the others are like together. Think about it. I mean, yes, of course. Uh, like, it may happen like the sixties or seventies or whatever, whatever happened. But yes, <laughs> it's a little bit odd. And people say that they give him the last share or two, so they it's like, um, yeah. And speaking of what you said about Breezy Voices, the first ever video that I ever saw her was when she was doing South Park impressions, and it was both cringe and hilarious. So. Hmm. <laughs> that is, if it's still there. Hope so. <laughs> Oh jeez, I think I think it's gone. Well, shoot. Uh, she probably take it down. Yeah, I mean, like I oh, I mean, I guess that is. I guess that was like a little bit understandable, but uh, maybe she saw, like you said, how cringe it was. So it as like, oh, it's so cringe. I'm gonna take it down. So that's probably what she did. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. On the bright side, of course, let's see. Uh, uh. Is that your new Nissan Rogue? You won't believe this. Yeah, crazy story. So this. All right, time to read some YouTube comments. My favorite part of this job. We're going on a trip? We're going on a trip? Brock, Brock, we're going on a... We're going on a... Brock, where are we going, buddy? We're going on a trip. A trip?
So, uh, Mikey Bolts, it's uh, good, good uh, to see you. Uh, we're we're, we're driving. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, th th there's something that I really like about you. I wanted to tell you. Um, actually, I don't like much, so I'm not going to actually say. Anything. Well, there's uh, not much about you that I like, Michael. Oh, oh geez. Okay. Well, you pissed it. Listen, the only people that call me Michael is my mother, and well, that's about it. So you can just just pipe down, all right, pal. Hi there, Peter Griffin. Special needs. Used to piss. Lots of piss. Lois oh. ran away. Now we've got. 30 rooms, hello beans, goodbye spray. <laughs> hello beans, <laughs> goodbye spray. God, it's everywhere. It's even in my raccoon wounds. <laughs> diarrhea. Lois, diarrhea. It's good. Um, so I, I really don't mind going on this adventure because I'm having a good time. Really, I am. Oh, that's 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 good that you're that you're having that you're having a good time. Yes, yes, yes. But I wouldn't mind stopping off at some little um little side side area over here to get. Well, bigger. you know what? We 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 we're not going to do that. You know, okay. because because uh, this is uh, a one shot. Oh, you know, we're, we're, oh you, my you, god! You're going to have to pee oh, in a boy. in a bottle. Here we go. You know who wouldn't do this to me, Brock? You know who would be really nice to me right now if Brian, I was... Brian. Dog. No. Dog. Dog boot. Listen, don't bring Brian into this, uh, bro. I just... I think I just did. This has nothing to do... I brought Brian in... Into the okay. conversation. You leave, leave your... Okay, your conversations and these conversations are stupid. Morgan Freeman would not be doing this Morgan, to me. Uh, stickers. And uh, stickers. Morgan Freeman. MySpace.com. I kind of like the old deli owner Cleveland, like the one who oh, said, like almost like the one who said there was cottage cheese in the fridge. I'm going to get me a spoonful for y'all have at it. <laughs> I just don't know any, you know, quotes that he says, so I'm just going to have to just, you know, Improvise, everybody. <laughs> Glenn Quagmire, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Jeffrey. Oh no. Oh no, that Griffin <laughs> boy's gone missing. Oh no. Oh, it's so orange. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh, they shoved pine cones up my ass. It was awful. <laughs> Lois is dead. <laughs> Hey, Bat, where's your wheelchair ramp? I'm sorry, we don't have those. That's fine, I'm a Coors man anyway. Silver Bullet! Peter, have you seen my wheelchair? Hey, Peter, have you seen my wheelchair? Seem to have misplaced my chair. Damn it, Bonnie! You lied to me about the poop sack! The poop sack! You lied to me about the poop sack! You mean you don't have a poop sack? Damn it, Bonnie! You lied to me about the poop sack! Hey, Peter. I feel like we just keep saying the same lines. Though. Hey, Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. Peter. There's a, there's a cheetah on the side of a leopard. The side of that bus. Does that mean that the leopard's driving? <laughs> Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? <laughs> All right. Oh, I could even switch to nighttime. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh look, Magellan. Do you think Magellan stores his findings there? Ooh. Oh, all the all the artifacts that he found, Magellan. You know, he was an, he was an explorer. I'm catching all the candy. You don't know to pick me. You don't know. It ain't much lunch. I have a long footage. <laughs> See, I can't I can't really do I can't really do wish wish. Hi, Doc. Mm. Doc. Lone Hill Avenue. Okay, okay. Why is it a Lone Hill? 
Does it not get along with the other hill? He has to be alone, huh? God bless He's that like, hill. Sure, alone, hey, hill. We're going to have to separate you from the rest of the hills. Mikey wins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. victory. Oh, yeah. Get out. This is, uh, this is it? This is, okay, this is our place. You're coming back, right? Right, Brock? I mean, just grabbing food or something. I just, they're just voices, man. It's just, what's wrong with the little friendly competition you're getting on the freeway? Okay. All right, great. Okay, if you, you're driving away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell someone about that. We're, we're going to have a talk, you and I, about, okay, this is just, this is something. Wow, they're both great. Of course. Oh. Okay, even though I need to step out because my dog needs some water because he's acting crazy, but uh, see. the work never stops. Or if he's gonna sit down, refine, no. secure, share again, but with the right. Dude, stop that! Creeping me out. I forgot about that, dude. Yeah. Hey, look what I got you. You got the cats on us. No, I didn't find it on the floor. You cracked me up. That's the popcorn. Can I have a sip? Keep it coming. Thanks, buddy. Ah! Ah! Hey. 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 <laughs> I can hear you breathing over there. That's not me. Shh. 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 starting, though. El shit is when the moon is starting. Don't shoot. Hey, man. Shh. 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 Other cartoon era characters were in the Flintstone franchise. Okay, well, technically the joke. Say what? I, I, I was say, answering his question. I said technically the Jetson. The Jetsons. I said Christian to answer your question. Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got a point. Yeah, he's got me dead. Sorry, bud. Oh wait, there's so they're just still images? I thought something cool was gonna happen, but I think it's better than just to animate them to save money, but this is still nice. Hey, was that real? Uh yeah, it was. Hey, you know? I forgot what the actual creature term is. I heard it from somewhere, but I actually forgot what it is. Wait, what did you say? I said there's a uh, the name of a creature a Medusa is I forgot what it is. Okay, there is no creature. She's just hideous. Like she's just a, she's just a snake lady. Uh, question. What was your question again? I was hearing it from the background. Oh, um, I was. Uh, I uh, there's a like a name for the creature. I think it's called Gorgon or something like that. That type yeah, of yeah, yeah. creature. You're correct. You're correct, Christian. That's Thank the you. name of it. Oh. Thank you. I knew it had to be something. Uh, let's see here. I do have a video in the private chat. Uh, here you Ew, go. A video. Ooh. 
Look where it is. It's one of them YouTubes. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to... I'm Brock Baker. Today we have a very special Whoa, guest. Whoa, wait. Brizzy did a bit... But the... Brizzy did a video with Brock Baker? I mean, they did done, like, past collabs years ago. So, yeah, this is one of them. Hmm. The best Brizzy. Br voice Yes. It's her full legal name. So if you've seen this show before... Of course, you know Brian would do one with uh, Brock Baker, because, you know, since yes. um, he's a guess. Christian and Brock Baker usually does Christian stuff, he's but, I mean, at least he's good with friends with Brizzy. Yeah. Hey, Today, Briz Brizabeth is going to do some of her voices. And I'm going to guess... What, what, what she's doing. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Wait, you can get my beauty. It's him. Oh, no. Uh, Judy Garland? Yeah. Okay. Dorothy. Yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Okay. 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 <laughs> Whenever somebody unfollows me on Twitter, I assume it's because of my constant barrage of hilarious and smart jokes. <laughs> Pikachu, I choose you. That's my ass. <laughs> it sounds like Rocker is saying, Pikachu, I choose you. Pat, Pat, Pat. Kind of, oh. yeah. Yeah, you could just say Crocker, yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Oh. Uh, <laughs> is that a spoiler? Sweet. Yeah, it was. Damn it. Come on, man. Yeah. I mean, come on. The sweet and hot shot would have been obvious. I would have guessed it right off the bat. Especially from Super Smash Bros. Oh, boy. My Tinder profile description includes this juicy nugget. I've read like 10 chapter books. Works like a damn charm. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I may have peed a little. Out of fear. <laughs> Do it again, please. Do it in my mind's eye. I've read like 10 chapter books. Where are they? Oh, Batman. <laughs> yeah. Where are the Did chapter books? Yes, Dr. Klon said. Are there pictures? What? I would have just said Christian Bale's Batman. Like, I honestly thought she was doing Dr. Claw for a sec. That's why I said. I said, you might say I guess, um, Dr. Claw. A little, yeah. I mean, if you knew who Dr. Claw was. People <laughs> <laughs> find it strange that I can fully do the urinal. My body, my choice. All right, bubbles. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was good. Like quicker than the yeah, ketchup one. That was good. That was a good right. bubbles. I don't think I've ever cool. heard of bubbles. Really? My bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. bubbles. Oh, power puff again. <laughs> Samurai Samurai Jack. Jo, jo, jo. <laughs> Dogs must be so pissed that we can mimic them, but they can't mimic us. Just something to think about, you guys. <laughs> Yes. I think you're in. You're in. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> I thought that sounded familiar. Stop it! Stop, Stop it! it. Nope. Stop! <laughs> I would rather watch the entirety of Paul Blart Mall Cop dubbed in German, filmed off a TV vertically with an iPhone, than Let's Be Cops. Who? Who could have said that? That's why, because she's wearing it on her hat. Mm, well, it's none other than Holly Quinn. You got it, Mr. J. Oh, good job, Twin. <laughs> Big thanks to uh, Brizabeth, uh voice. Well, that is a caper. Thanks for that. So let's see. No problem. Hey. 
What the? Now, if you if you have like and like you have anything else, speak now, or I'll like set the next one because I really need to take pack. All right, go ahead. Say your voodoo. All right, well, just just to keep you some company and to keep us like out of trouble. So, let's see. Play War Thunder now. Join millions of players across the globe in massive battles on tanks. Air Hi. But this is only this is only just to keep you guys company. If I think of something else, then like. Or if any, any of us, well, you know the drill. I need to go. Hi, Brock. And you probably already know that I can do 101 voices in under four minutes, one take. So I'm going to do 101 more voices in however long it takes me to do them. Using cuts. Starting now. Thank you for the pointless introduction, Brock. I look forward to killing you soon. Ha! So I heard you just finished making a movie. How did that go? Oh, my God. Cheers. Let's get some shit, batch. But I don't even wear shoes. I'm already the strongest man in the world. Stimpy, you idiot. Die, Boran, I'm just trying to sell these rubberish nipples. This is a song about a whale. No, this is a song about being happy. No, sir. I don't like it. Oh, Rago, would you like to come over for some hot beef sandwiches? Hi, uh, you're a creepy old lady, Mrs. Big Head. Turn the page, wash your hands. One of these days, Krabs, one of these days! Mmm, impressions. <laughs> Please stop with the pain and the fighting and the biting! Oi, that hurts me! Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You might remember me from The Simpsons when it was still funny. Hey, bar dude. Like, what's that over there? Bye. Oh, come on, why do you always gotta do that? I like to think of myself as a reasonable man, so I will only break one of your kneecaps. Looks like we've got a case of bad babysitting. <laughs> Holy smokes, you need booze. Thank you, come again. Duff man likes speaking in the third person. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it took me all the way back. Rock was one of the reasons why I got into voiceover. <laughs> Such fun times. Oh. As a matter of fact, speaking of... Oh, what do you call it? It's funny how you mentioned uh, Brock Baker, sorry, because I was actually watching <clears throat> some Azers videos today. Oh, wait, so, 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 oh, all right, yeah. So, speak, speaking of, well, <sighs> well, thank you for also suggesting it myself because seeing so much of his other different stuff and uh, and what was it? The origin about how he became the voice of Cleveland is so awesome to hear. I mean, yeah. Because, yeah, I was actually watching that video yesterday of, like, how, yeah, he was doing a Call of Duty video basically explaining how Mike Henry, you know, stepped down as the world's Cleveland. And actually put a petition down of, like, if he could be the new voice, and he eventually got it. So very huh. cool. Now, in your honest uh, but, opinion, do you for his work? Hey, what? What? I was going to say, do you prefer his original voice actor or his new voice actor? Both. Yeah, both. I because, like yeah. the original. All right, well, there's nothing wrong with that. Because, again, there was it was not a problem up until about, well, just about the certain incident that happened during that year. Yeah. And it's also crazy the fact that Cleveland used to be an auctioneer until he got hit in the head and now he talks slower. It, it was. It's, all right, that was my plan. No, no, wait, wait, wait. It was called that. Yes. Oh, wait. But which one was it? Oh, there you it know, is. Yeah. I was going to say, you know what? If you tie a balloon to a mailbox, what's, what is this, the symbol of? Party over, Party here. over here. 
It's raining bitches. Hi, my name is Christopher Daniel Barnes, and I'm playing Symbiote Spider-Man. It's fun to, to sort of evolve into these darker Spider-Man characters. Violence is always the answer. I'm not afraid of you, Norman. And express all of these... Uh, Shocker! These you can't escape me. I'll chase you to the end of the video. I mean, but see, God, when he says, you can't escape me, I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude, who are you trying to be? Wolverine and Marvel Heroes. The voice for Wolverine came out really naturally for me because I grew up reading comics. So all I had to do was just open up my mouth. And the first time I said, back off, Bob, it was, it was just very natural for me. That's what I heard. I'm Scott Porter. And I voice Cyclops. Wow, when you that is with, actually uh, awesome to find out that's how Deep Blue became Wolverine. To be able to embody him yeah. for just a little bit uh, makes me feel pretty cool. I mean, my name is similar to what Greg Sipes says when he first came up with Be with Beast Boy. He's like, oh, maybe. Well, think a bad boy. He said, I just never heard that voice out of me. That's what he said. It's David, and I play Nick Fury. Nick Fury is a badass who expects you to come up to the plate. Nice work, hero. Now get your butt upstairs so I can talk to you in person. My name is Lex Lang, and I play Doctor Doom. His personality is very calm and collected, yet incredibly sinister and incredibly calculating. You will learn to respect me, even if it's with your dying breath. I'm April Stewart, and I play Jean Grey. When you've got a character where there's a lot of stuff going on inside of them, that's fun to play. Behold the power of the phoenix! My name is Chris Cox, and I play Colossus and Hawkeye in Marvel Heroes. Hawkeye is a guy that was so determined, and he made himself a superhero. Yeah. I'm <laughs> oh, shit, that was good. What's fun is that you... <laughs> yeah, the irony of that. Hawkeye is a guy. Yeah, <laughs> hence the name Hawkeye. Good on you, man. <laughs> that was funny. And you can really put it out there. You don't have to hold back. Colossus fights on! I destroy you, then I move on to the next guy. Hey guys, Dave Boat here. I play Thing on Marvel Heroes. Thanks for coming out the packs. Go play yourself some Marvel Heroes. You hear me? All right then. Guess what time it is! <laughs> Yoo I'm Nolan North, and I'm playing. I thought I was gonna say it's covering time. Man, I was right. Every model love a modern major psychopath. I something, something, something. Da da shooting. Da 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 da. You know the great thing about Deadpool is he has no filter. So does the voice in your head tell dirty jokes too? Deadpool that is talking like an old like pirate. pirate. Like, like pirate. What scurvy dog be calling for pirate Deadpool? Every voiceover actor has a pirate voice. And it comes with this face. I don't know why this eye winces, but it's true. Meet me at the poop deck. Another victory in the war between pirate and ninja. Well, yeah, one of the best things that I've ever seen. So that is also a keeper. And here you go. All right. It's time to start my second life. The farming life that I wish for. Here I, I do voices. Hey, you read. What's with all the boxes? I mean, what are you, a hoarder? Honey, last Cleveland, it's just every season a family guy in the Cleveland show on DVD, Blu-ray, and the Hey, Junior, we have a mega fan. That's pretty cool, Daddy. <laughs> this good guy. Welcome back to my channel. I promised you guys that I was going to teach you. You know what? Cleveland. I think you should voice um dj if like kevin doesn't want to uh, voice him anymore he should fill him in for him i don't know because usually when a uh, white actor has to give up a black character it usually goes to kevin to be fair that happened to the simpsons uh -huh. you're right but still i would love to see him voice cj yeah I've done this voice so much on my channel, I've had so much fun with it. Did y'all know that a balloon tied to a mailbox is the international yeah, symbol for party over here? I hate that song. And I figured, why not teach you guys? Well, to the best of my ability. This won't guarantee you'll be a master at it, but hopefully it'll get you somewhere. I've never taught a voice before, but I'm going to try my best today. But first, let's improve the audio a bit. 
got my USB mic now. Forgot to do it at the beginning of the video. So before I teach you how I do Cleveland Brown's voice, let's dive into the history and origin of the character real quick. Cleveland Brown is a character from the Fox TV series Family Guy, voiced by Mike Henry, a voice actor and producer for the show. Hey, it's Mike Henry. I play Cleveland. Can you believe it? And yeah, he's a white guy that surprises almost everyone. He voices Cleveland, Consuela, Herbert the Pervert, and tons of other extra characters. Yes, I'm only down on your friend. And here he can be seen explaining the origin of Cleveland Brown. Sort of kind of pitching around in a room based on this guy that I had once played basketball with. And uh, this, I played basketball with this guy a couple years before, and his voice just stuck in my head. Because I remember I asked him where he went to college, and he said he went to the University of Maryland. And I was like, Maryland? Yeah, Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Yeah, Maryland. <laughs> so Cleveland was kind of born there. So pretty neat. The guy's really talented. The guy's really funny. Awesome characters, but today we're focusing on the whitest black man you ever meet, Cleveland Brown. Oh, screw you, Arif. That's offensive. <laughs> Got a little laugh. So, Cleveland Brown's voice resonates in the lower region of your throat. You have to tighten your throat. Um, if you do, if you can do a Stitch or like Kermit the Frog or like Zoidberg or something like that, that's that same type of golem, you know, it's Regal. Stop it, fat hobbit! You know, something like that. Or, um, oh, I'm not, no, it's family. Still on Stitch. <laughs> it's like it's being squeezed. I can't really explain it because I don't know I don't know the full range of how to explain phonetics and all that. Um, but the best advice I can give for that is to pull your tongue back towards the back of your throat and tighten your, tighten your vocal cords. Don't hurt yourself, but just do it slightly. So you know the feeling when you're like gagging, like, uh, uh, it's like, uh, uh. <laughs> this is weird. Try to get that tightness in the back of the throat. So, ha, oh, hello, what's going on? Sounds more like meat water or something, right? But we'll get to the accent and voice later. So just try to focus on that. Try to get that squeeze. Try to get that squeeze in the throat. You know, that squeeze. Because trust me, the squeeze, that's like when you know it's good. <laughs> hey, dog, you do that too damn well, bro. You're getting a track. Get back to the family guy character, man. Come on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Cleveland Brown. So yeah, get that resonance in the throat. Also, that's like step one. Step two, I would say nasality. Cleveland's voice comes from in the back of the throat, but also there's a nasal type of thing going on too. Yo, how you doing? Not that extreme, but just add a slight bit of like, try to block off your nasal passage a little bit. You know when you close your nose, or you do, try to block it off a slight bit. But in addition to that, remember to breathe and keep that, you know, vocal thing that I said earlier going on. So now you have like a, hey everybody, I'm Cleveland. Not there yet, right? That's where we'll get to the accent and the pitch and the everything else that goes into it. Let's start with the phrase. As Mike Henry said, he met a man who pronounced Maryland, Merlin. Right? That's a weird little accent. Um, that's how Cleveland talks. Instead of saying serious, he'll be like, oh man, I'm serious. I'm serious about this. Not serious, serious. You know, like America, America. You know, it's America, you know, Merlin. So most like airy words, airy America. No, oh, look, Surrey. You know, not Siri, but Surrey. Very slight. So remember, I'm working that into the voice as well. So let's work with the phrase here. Um, Oh, that's nasty. You're from Maryland. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. You're from Maryland. No pitch there yet. We'll get to that. No voice crack yet. We'll get to that. So now let's add the pitch to it. And the best, and I would say pretty much only way to do that is to watch clips of the show, um, specifically Cleveland show. Try to get that pitch in your head. Keep recording yourself and play it back. Record yourself, play it back. Try to get as on point with the impression as you can with the voice. Keep keep doing that until you're like, yeah, okay, I sound more like Cleveland now. It's gonna take a minute. Um, some people might get it faster than others, um, but it, it took me a while to get to where I am today. So practice that pitch. Just practice, work on it. It could be harder for some people, but just uh, persistence is key. So with the pitch, oh, that's nasty. You're from Maryland. Oh, that's nasty. You're from Maryland. Now let's get to the voice crack. The voice crack I would say is probably for me was the hardest part to get down for a long time. Um, I've been doing this voice for like almost 10 years now, but I don't remember when I finally got that voice crack down. Like I said, some people might get it faster than others. So let's say I'm um, party over here, right? He doesn't just say, party over here, party over here. You know, it's a party over here. You know, it's a, uh, you know, practice voice cracking. You're going to sound like a crackhead in public. Just do it for the safety of your room. Cleveland has a very subtle voice crack there, you know? So let's add the voice crack in with the pitch or tonality. The resonant squeeze is what I like to call it. <laughs> the nasality part. Let's all add it all together and try to say the sentence now. Oh, that's nasty. You're from Maryland. So keep practicing a phrase over. It doesn't have to be that. Um, take one of his quotes and just keep saying it and saying it using the techniques that um well, I tried to give you guys. Keep those in your mind if you can and just say his quotes over and over again. Watch clips of the show. Record yourself. Go back and forth, back and forth. And I promise we'll get it in no time. But you're not going to sound like I'm straight off the bat. You just got to work on it. I've, I've gotten so many people saying when I first started out, 
you suck at it, stop it, you're horrible at this impression. And it, at first it gets to you, but you're like, whatever, man, this is just fun for me. I'm gonna get it one day. I love making people laugh with it. And it's, people love Cleveland's voice. It's so unique. I, I salute Mike Henry for that. At a friendly outing, like you're around a group of people. For instance, I'll be like at a concert, I'll be around a group of people. And say I make some friends, you know, and I'll be like, hey, you watch Family Guy? I mean, of course, who doesn't watch Family Guy, dude? You know the black guy, Cleveland? Huh, do I? Yeah, check this out. I don't like your shoes, man. Oh shit, yo, you hear this, dude? <laughs> you know, so you're gonna, and you can pull girls with Cleveland's voice. I've done Cleveland's voice during inter mission. Hmm. He meant to say in a course. <laughs> Weird. So now that you all have all that, I came up with a challenge. All right. Here's what the challenge is. Follow me on Instagram, record your best Cleveland Brown impression, upload it, title the video, hashtag Cleveland Brown Challenge, okay? Do your best Cleveland Brown voice, and I will go through and watch as many as I can. And whoever I decide is the winner, I will upload it to my channel. I'll put your social media, your YouTube channel, whatever you want. Then there'll be a follow -up challenge to do. Follow my Instagram right here. DM me your video. Make sure it's on your page so I can download it. Upload your videos, tag me in it, whatever, so I can see it. Let's make a little Cleveland Brown Family Guy challenge. It'll be really fun. So do that, and I'll put you in one of my next videos. It'll be really, really fun to do. Hopefully, this tutorial helped you guys. If it didn't, I'm sorry. I tried. Um, but if it did, I'm really uh, I'm happy that I could have helped in some way. The key to doing everything is practicing. If you want to get really good at it, and that's all I can say for this. Practice the hell out of this voice. Practice the hell out of any voice you want to learn, anything that you want to do. If you liked this video, if you liked this voice tutorial, if you thought it was helpful, smack the like button, please. And also leave in the comments below who you think I should do next. Any of the voices that I've done on my channel, um, yeah, I'll, I'll pin it. I'll like it, whoever gets the most likes on that. So that'll be really cool. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you, Matt Henry, for your awesome character. Thank you, Seth, for bringing Family Guy to the screen. Wait, I got to do the bathtub thing, don't I? Hey, Cleveland, here comes a missile. Now, 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 now. <laughs>you for cars consider universal technical institute's automotive technology program built for aspiring industry pros who want to train for a career hey trump i'm gonna put my voice on the I, I do voices. Cover your mouth! Touch my ass. Didn't you be helping our country heal? It's my birthday. I want you to say happy birthday, Donnie. Uh, even on your birthday, you're supposed to be serving the people, Gail. But look, look, you guys should be telling me happy birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Donald J. Trump, you know? Thank you, D-Money. <laughs> what are you doing for Black Lives Matter, Donald J. Trump? What did you say to me? <laughs> what are you doing for Black Lives Matter, Donald J. Trump? <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to grab her by the pussy. That's it. There's nothing wrong with grabbing pussy, okay? It's a great thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful shit. Yo, Donald, can you stop talking about that nasty shit and play the game? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you do good impersonation shit. Yeah, I'm You got the home Trump. That's correct. How are you? <laughs> Put y'all down all. Hey, don't kill yourself, man. Protect the president. Protect the president. Protect the president. Hey, tell Osama been dripping. Uh, he been dripping blood because what is what that nigga's ass. <laughs> Obama, what the fuck? It's what Obama, else are you, what else are you kicking it with? Uh, me and Donald are taking back some uh, beers back here for his birthday. We're trying to. Let off some steam pants and call sure. it. You know there's Bud back there. Hey, Bill. What's up, Barack? Hey, hey Donald. Boy. <laughs> boy. Shorty bed with his Sorry, you can talk about the shirt. Sorry, you What? Shorty. What'd you thought of his Trump and Barack oppression? I mean, of course. Like, they're they're always impressive. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Any, anything else from you, Fresh? What? Plenty, plenty. Well, I mean, like this this one kind of like interests me a little bit. It like it's it spread over the news, but I was like, what? Just, just get this.
I'm Miranda Cosgrove, and this is the Wired Auto Complete Interview. There's nothing too crazy on the internet about me, other than I'm probably related to Jimmy Fallon. And <laughs> when did Miranda Cosgrove start acting? Well, I actually started acting when I was three. I'm from LA, and an agent came up to my parents and asked if I'd want to come have a meeting. And I started going on commercial auditions. And that was the beginning of me being in the entertainment business because both of my parents, neither of them are in the entertainment business at all. Who does Miranda Cosgrove play in Despicable? (laughs) Who does Miranda Cosgrove play in Despicable Me? I play Margot, the oldest daughter in Despicable Me. And it's kind of cool because I started these movies when I was 13. And I turned 31 yesterday. Playing Margot, um, it's just fun because every single time we get to do a new movie, the character has grown up a little bit. And in one of the films, she starts to like boys for the first time and she has her first crush. And just playing the character kind of brings me back to being little. And it's funny because when I started voicing the character, I was little and I'm an adult. Is Miranda Cosgrove in Happier Music Video? I am in the Happier Music Video. It was such a fun experience getting to be in that music video because I love animals so much. And most of the music video is about dogs and just how much people love dogs, how a dog can really change your life. Does Miranda Cosgrove sing the iCarly theme song? I do sing the iCarly theme song. I recorded it when I was 12. And it was my first time ever recording a song in my whole life or getting to be in a studio and sing. And it was really fun. (laughs) What is Miranda Cosgrove like in real life? I'm a little bit of an introvert. I have a bunch of girlfriends three friends that are my closest friends that I've known since I was pretty little. And they definitely bring out a more crazy, fun side of me just because I've known them for so long. But I would say, I think that's the thing that surprises people about me, that I'm probably more shy than people realize. What does Miranda Cosgrove eat? I eat everything. There isn't a single solitary thing I don't eat except for peanut butter. I'm allergic to peanut butter. I used to eat it, but I became allergic to it when I was 14. Uh, I, I, allergic to peanut butter. I love peanut butter. Um, I didn't we're either. Tw- we're twins. Yay. Wow. <laughs> me, her, me, her, Bill Hader, we're like all, you know, triplets at that point. Wait, Bill Hader is allergic too? Yes. Yeah. We said this before. Yeah. I ate absolutely everything. Miranda Cosgrove house tour. I just love looking at houses. I love going on Pinterest and Etsy and looking at beautiful kitchens, which is weird because I can't cook a single solitary thing. Cool. How old was Miranda Cosgrove in School of Rock? School of Rock was one of the first things I ever did in acting. And I was nine and I got to go to New York, which was so much fun. I had only been on a plane one other time in my life before I went to film this movie. And I got to stay in Manhattan for five months in a hotel and order room service and hang out with all the other kids in the movie. And it was still to this day, one of the most fun things I've ever done in acting. Miranda Cosgrove's vocal range. I wouldn't say I have an insane vocal range at all. I do like singing and I play guitar. I actually learned to play guitar because of School of Rock because all the other kids played instruments in the movie. So I wanted to play an instrument so bad. I wanted to be like them. Miranda Cosgrove car. I just got a new car, a Range Rover, and it's really nice. It drives really super smooth and it's white and it has a black top. Miranda Cosgrove kissing you video. So this was one of the first music videos I ever did. I co-wrote this song about my, the guy who was my first kiss, my first boyfriend. And it always makes me think of that when I hear it. Cause I remember I played it for my first boyfriend and I thought I was so cool. Cause I got to say, I wrote this song about you. Miranda Cosgrove, Lilo and Stitch. People think I was in Lilo and Stitch. And And yeah, to be fair, not, not the movie, but the TV series. That's what I was all like freaked up about. Like, was she in Lilo and Stitch? The show, yes. The movies, no. Mm, all right. Wait, she yeah. was in Lilo and Stitch? What? If you listened in the series of Lilo and Stitch, she was. That's what I mean. She movie. was? Like, what she play? All right. Some, some, like, some girl who's trying to, like, I'm like, I think it was like some girl that was trying to like hook up with this boy that Lilo also likes. <laughs> oh, I know who you're talking about. I know that boy. Yeah, she yeah has a thing for him. 
Yes. I wasn't. This is going to sound insane, but I'm not entirely sure if I was in Lilo and Stitch or not. If I was, it was just maybe one line, but I don't think I was. Miranda Cosgrove, Mission Unstoppable. This is my Bill Nye the Science Guy-esque show that I do. It's on CBS in the morning and it's all about women in STEM. And it's taught me so much about science and I've fallen in love with science from getting to host this show. Because to be honest, when I was in school, I was not great with science. I wasn't super into it. And and now this, this show's made me really love it. I learned recently a little bit about sleep paralysis and that interested me a lot just because I've experienced sleep paralysis. So learning about it made me a little less scared of it. The main thing they say is just to get really, have a good sleeping pattern and go to sleep at the same time every night. But I don't do that at all. So I'm probably still going to have sleep paralysis my whole life. Miranda Cosgrove, rock meme. That's this. When I was little and I was in School of Rock, I learned what this meant when I was making that movie and I thought it was so cool. And I kept doing it in every single picture. And I did it in some picture and it became a meme and I've paid for it a little bit my entire life. (laughs) There's one of me where I'm at the Kids' Choice Awards when I'm maybe nine. I have my hands in my pockets and my head back and somebody made a meme out of it that says, when you're high as fuck in the McDonald's line. (laughs) And that one's my probably my favorite. Miranda Cosgrove looks like... Right, she dropped the (laughs) F-bomb. Yep. Found and they go and start about the F-bomb. What are you going to do exactly. about it? She cursed in her uh, spin-off series, so cool if you're going to see her, see her. <laughs> like to make that. She remember she also said the B word if you didn't see her. I mean, of course. Like, yeah. In the, in the, in the, in the, yeah. Miranda Cosgrove selfie. So I take car selfies, and I don't know what to put on Instagram a lot of the time, so I've been doing that for 15 years, <laughs> putting up car selfies, and there's just really good lighting in there. Does Miranda Cosgrove have a tattoo? For an episode of iCarly, the revival of iCarly, I love Casey Musgraves. And we did a storyline where we get Casey Musgraves <laughs> tattoos. And I got one on my foot. So that was interesting. It was a temporary tattoo, but I had it on my foot. Oh, for- you poor soul. That's what I said. That's exactly oh, what I said. I was like, no, no. You poor soul. You didn't have to. Wait, on the Wait Blitz, Blitz. I think you just, when you said, you do mean, you know, like, when you, I, do, I know you meant like poor soul, but you know soul also means also with foot. So. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I just feel better. Well, in, in a I, I do as well. <laughs> yeah, of Face. course, but man. <laughs> Does Miranda Cosgrove have TikTok? I mean, yeah. At least she didn't get the treatment Jenna McCurdy did. Now she suffered the worst. She did, yes. It's so very sad. Yeah. Her along with Amanda Bynes and anybody else. Especially Amanda Bynes. But, but we're but we're just gonna be reminiscing on happy times and like whatever <laughs> I like it's what happens when people get all freaked up and stuff. For fun sometimes, but I just never post them publicly. And I also use it just to look at TikTok and other people's videos, but I don't have a real one yet. I thought it was pretty funny when when I went viral for saying the F word on TikTok because I was just on my friend Whitney's podcast. And that was the last thing I thought people were going to care about or notice from that podcast. It's just crazy. You never know what the internet is going to take. Does Miranda Cosgrove like Nathan Cress? So Nathan Cress is married and he has three children, but I like him a lot. I've known him since I was a little kid. He was my one of my first kisses in real life. He's just always been a really good guy. He's, and he's he's one of my closest friends. So yeah, I definitely like Nathan Cress. Does Miranda Cosgrove... I mean, it's better than that episode where she dated... Well, almost like... It was like two dates, I believe. Do you remember an episode where in iCarly, she was like um, dating this guy who had like a lot of plushies or something like that? Oh my uh, god, yes, that episode was crazy. It was like finding out, oh yeah, you're a bad boy, but you got a sweet side to yourself. You got a lot of plushie collections. Yeah. Oh, ironic. Vanished. I wish that I did. I only speak the hill fast. Yo, Domer Gato, Mr. Roboto, you don't speak in robot. I remember That's when my I remember when my seventh grade teacher would say that. <laughs> what is this? Because yeah, I had one of my friends had a similar name to Roboto, and I was like, oh, that's actually clever. Nice. 
Oh, okay. It's just interesting getting to see what people want to know about me and the main questions that people ask. It's it's fun for sure to get to find out what, what people are searching on Google. Thanks, Wired. It was fun. Bye. Now sit your asses down for the next video. In the Which typing. Videos? All right. Yeah, good. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're about to take the trip on a bus. The magic school yeah. bus, of course. Uh, oh, oh, how did... God damn. Night Out 2 is a record-breaking global phenomenon. Yeah, sounds right. Ask Fanatics. Fanatics. Yeah, back to the game. Call your friends. Oh, uh, okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Sweet belts, everyone. Oh, man. Shut up, Arnold. Yeah, you may be weak and shy and nerdy at first, but you're, sooner you're going to be a superstar. True. And believe me, with Liz always running around, I need all the help I can get. Now, for the moment, the storyboard is still just pictures and words, but with the help of a talented team of actors, starring Billy Tomlin as the Frizz and featuring yours truly as the producer, the classroom begins to get a little noisy. Good morning, class. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Frizzle. It's time for some vivacious vocalizations. Ready, class? Ready! To the studio! I knew I should have stayed home today. <laughs> it's the only classroom I know of where the teacher and the students have never met. We record the voices for the show in different studios, in different countries, and at different times. That's great. What? Miss Frizzle! What happened, Frizzle? Oh, I mean, Jesus! Like different countries, different studios. I mean, I, isn't that just a little? Could be a little bit tiring. But then again, actors Wait, they just they do that sometimes. Like especially, okay, yeah. For example, um, okay, one acceptable with James Arnold with Canada and USA. There was one time with Tony J, and of course there was that one time with Hank Azari recording his lines in New York. So yeah, really, this has been going on for years. Well, I mean, well, yeah, but. Uh, with James, of course, like he took the dedication of just actually just driving there instead of flying it or just well, well, I, I don't know, it's just a little bit complicated. Mm. Let's recycle this stuff. What's happening? What's going on? Whoa, oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Here we go. I think we're being frizzled. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? At my old school, we didn't have a studio, Carlos does. Dude, it is rude to talk to people in a different language. Or is it offensive? What? For us when, what you just said? I, like, even though I'm joking, I'm like, I'm joking, but seriously, it is like, in reality, it is rude to talk to people in a different language because, like, you, you were buffering a bit. So, what were you trying to say, oh. Christian? I was saying, if I had a joke every time she said, at my old school, because like every time I read the books, she always says that. I mean, they call it catchphrase for a reason. Like once every episode, what you're gonna make a like a a, a note to finish a verb with like phrases like I know what we're gonna do today. Oh, there you are, Perry. What you doing? You guys are so busted. Terrence, you buried the platypus. And let's not forget, yes, yes, we are. Exactly. Oh, so you're a little flat there, eh, buddy? Mm. Is it just me, or was that a really bad joke? People say I always make bad jokes in the shows. I think they're funny. Yeah. <laughs> Very good friend. <laughs> Sometimes I have a red fro once in a while, but I don't have glasses. <laughs> My name is Erica, and I play Keisha, and as you can see, we look a lot alike. She's really smart. Smarter than everybody else. <laughs> Comparing myself to my character Wanda in the show, I have to say that, really, I don't think I'm anything like her. I'm oh, oh, you Come on, you bunch of weasley wits! I, I need to see things to believe them, you know? I, I like to learn by experience, and that's, that's kind of how Keisha is. I hate to do this, Ms. Frizzle. 
But I have to ask you some tough questions. Well, this is Dorothy Ann, and Dorothy Ann is really smart. I'm kind of a lot older than her, but we still really relate. And I don't think I'm as bossy as she is. Uh, you're the boss. Bossy. <laughs> I am not. <know. laughs> I've never recorded with the children. They record in Canada and I record in the U.S. Oh. And yet it all oh, works so wonderfully. Uh, one, seven, four, one, seven, four. Okay, here we go. One more time. 63 take. Five. Five. Keep your eyes open, guys. If there isn't any recycling, there won't be any recycling bins. Whoa, all that stuff waiting to be recycled got turned back into garbage. Which means a lot more garbage has to go to the dump. So I don't need any research to know that those recycling tracks are... Garbage trucks! But Walkerville's dump is pretty small. No way all this garbage will fit. Excellent. And we've got 11 and 12. Performing for animation is a very interesting, um, a different kind of a performance. What's fun about it is the fact that you don't have to worry about where all the cameras are and where all the lights are. You just go ahead and you do it. It's, it's pure. The actor is just working with his voice. One seven, and watch me and let me cut you off. This is 117 take two. two. One, two, three. Whoa. You got it. You got it. Good. Just terrific. And keeping track of all these voices on the Magic School Bus wow. is the challenging job of the voice director. She definitely has her hands full. <laughs> Trust me, I should know. It's my job to go, okay, hey, now, uh, Hugh, you're going to run up the hill, and uh, so I need you out of breath. Hi, RC. Come on, blue, huh? Come on guys. Hi. Yeah, if you heard Blitz. Um, I mean, yeah, I already knew it was yeah, her, but it starts in plus distance in here. Don't blame you, Arnold. You don't? No. I blame your crummy idea! Well, I, I just thought... It's too late to think! If we hadn't been recycling, I'd still have my soldier, and I wouldn't have to miss the one show I've been looking forward to seeing all year! But there's still time to get there, Wanda. Why do you have to miss it? And Lily Tomlin brings it all together in her signature performance as the Frizz. Miss Frizzle is like the great improviser. She's whatever life throws her, she's able to take it. She mixes it up. She looks at it. She captures all kinds of surprises, and she makes an incredible science lesson out of it. He's gonna eat us! <gasps> you know, this would be the perfect opportunity to study the digestive system of a T-Rex. Sorting is the first step in recycling. Now, class, start dumping. And what if we did one? Now, class, start dumping. Okay, that sounds sure. nasty. This is 80 take five. Sorting is the first step in recycling. Now, class, start dumping. That's it. That's the one. We so, got it. First of all, I think I like the best about the frizz is that she's in awe of the universe. And, um,. She still has that innocent, really uh, wondrous heart and mind and soul. Now, this is what I call an all-encompassing experience. Ms. Rizzo! Say hello to the Dinopus spider, Trapper extraordinaire. I've been invited to dinner. You mean you're going to be dinner? Then I think I like the fact that she's um, able to um, drive this bus. Seatbelts, everyone! <laughs> hey, I'm uh, that might get us busted, uh, depending on how long. Does military intelligence know about this bus? You know, I think one of the best things about being on a show like this is when you find out that it really works. And the most wonderful thing that we've heard from kids is they say the reason they like the Magic School Bus is because they find out stuff. Frizz and the class aren't the only ones who get to ride on the bus. Magic School Bus producer speaking. <laughs> Everybody wants to get on board with the Frizz. Look out below! Long time no see, Valerie! Tony Randall came on board as the character Are You Humorous? But you got me at a bad time. I'm expecting another customer. More important than moi. <laughs> no one's more important than you, my little toggle bolt. Let's get cracking. Your body needs support to hold it up. It's got to have structure. And to find out about that, you need my special megarific interoscopic. 
I know you do. <laughs> Your body needs support to hold it up. It's got to have structure. And to find out about that, you need my special megarific endoscopic kineto examino. <laughs> It's got to have structure. And to find out about that, you need my special megarific intrascopic kineto examino metascope. Mike, for short. Anything with a Lily Tomlin would be good enough for me. Here, Bonesy, add this to your collection. <gasps> Rita Moreno joined one of our expeditions as paleontologist Dr. C.A. Skeladon. I was asked to do it, and I immediately said, yes, you betcha. The association with Lily obviously is a wonderful one. But in addition to that, the fun of animation is that you can always take things a little broader. Keep on digging, fossilize. Keep on teaching, frizzle wise. Anyone know what you call a 65 million year old dinosaur egg? Extinct. Get it? Extinct. <laughs> oh, extinct. <laughs> Good yolk, Miss Frizzle. <laughs> That's Rich Carlos. It's Mr. Rule. Good morning, Arnold. Um, where's Miss Frizzle? Paul Winfield moved to the head of the class as the school principal. What's amazing, Arnold, is that you know so much about color and so little about where Miss Frizzle is. We're going back to your classroom now. Well, you know, Miss Frizzle's field trips probably are... The reason why her students love her so much and, and, and are so enthusiastic about their schoolwork, but uh, Mr. Rule, of course, doesn't know what goes on. Oh, yeah, he passed away. Damn. Oh, maybe. maybe. Oh, he did? Oh, wow. Yeah, he, he, he passed away in 2004, sadly. Oh, man. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah. I mean, his other works were in The Terminator, Star Trek, as I'm looking right over here. Uh, what else? Anyone? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, Star Trek. Uh, the Batman animated series. Okay. Gargoyles. Who was he in? <gasps> was he Lucius? Lucius? No. That would be cool. Oh, though. man. That would have been cool. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, the Spider Man 1994 show, The Simpsons, Ben Beyond. Wait a second. Did you say, wait, 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 wait. Oh, did you say when you said Lucius, you mean like either the show or a character? Because he played on The Simpsons a character called Lucius Sweet. No, he, he was asked that for the Batman anime series. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, going back to this, Spider Man 1994, he played Black Marvel, which is really cool. Uh, you guys familiar with Black Marvel as a character or from the comics? Like mm, not, not really. Mm, that's okay. Mm. But, One day I just had. What? Sorry, you're a muffling. Who, who are you playing in Batman animated series? He played a character uh, named Earl Cooper on uh, see, the episode of The Mechanic, if you ever watch it. Uh, I think that's the one where he tricks up the Batmobile. Probably is. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I, I had another behind the scenes. Yeah, where is it? Here you go. All right, getting on over here, over there. We will hit the dust trail and the case songs go rolling along. I said I put a video in the private chat. You can hear me. Oh, you're done now? Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Steve Rogers, what happened to you? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you too, man. Same here. Nice Good to meet you. Man. Good to see you too. How are you doing today? Doing great. Awesome. How was work? It was, it was good. Cool. Yep. 
And yeah, I can see why Blitzeam it means by Steve Rogers. I mean, yeah, because that's legit his name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's just say Steve Rogers was a kind of apocalypse. I mean, yeah. Yeah. At the world-famous Jim Henson Company, puppeteers like Drew Massey make inanimate objects come to life. Guy, I was over near the river, and I saw a guy, and he was wearing slippers, and they were made out of cement. What? And now they're going digital with the CG animated show Sid and Science Drew supplies the voice and manipulates the face of Sid. This is Sid right here. He's a star. He's a little preschool dynamo guy who just loves science and he loves asking questions i can relate so all these characters are cgi animated characters exactly okay. but in real time we puppeteer the faces and then we motion capture the body uh just a little of a peek for also but it works like okay uh he played vernon the over the hedge video game he played crane in the comfort panel game uh let's see here minion from the Mega Mind game so a lot of cool games there uh, which one was it that shocked me? Oh, yeah, Happy Time Murders. I was shocked by that. Huh. I was like, I haven't seen that movie yet. I was thinking about it, but I was like, yeah, let me give it a watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but prepare yourself. It's a, a lot of, you know, what you uh, say? It's, it's uh, oh, you, you, I'm like, how old do you think we are, dude? I'm about to be 25. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, from the trailers, we already know what the gist is about. Yeah. Besides, one of my favorite things from the trailers, like, you know who I am? I'm the FBI. FBI, what's that stand for? Freaking big idiot? <laughs> this character has a puppeteer doing the head and the face and yeah. the voice uh-huh. and, uh, and a body performer. Okay. And we run, like, five characters at once on stage. That's got to take a lot of computer processing power, bro. They kept uh, wheeling in crates of equipment during <laughs> during shooting, which was pretty awesome. This I gotta see. So while Drew goes off to get in character, I meet up with visual effects supervisor Stephen Wild. Uh, so can I see the stage? Of course. I'll, I'll show you. Okay, this is purely awesome. You know, as cool as the stage is, I'm a little distracted by the woman in the souped-up clown suit. And you see those dots on Misty? Misty's our wonderful buddy performer here. Under this suit is Misty, a trained dancer and gymnast. When she moves, so does Sid. How long does it take you to get into this getup? Um, not that long, I'd say, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of hands. So I have yeah. to tape them on me. So it's like 20 pieces of tape every time I want to get in and out. Misty is covered with dozens of little motion sensors. They're the key to turning her into this little guy. If she moves her arms, Sid copies her. Just like an annoying little brother. Okay, so Stefan, why don't you take us through like what's happening right now with on, on the studio stage with the cameras and the suit and everything? All right, so it's like when you look up here and all around us, those red lights that you guys see, yeah, those are all motion capture cameras. They're so infrared. They, they emit infrared light, and that infrared light reflects those markers. It's like on Misty here, yeah. you know. Using a procedure called triangulation, each sensor is captured by at least three cameras. Once you know where that point is in relation to those fixed camera positions, you know where it exists in 3D space. And and then it goes to a computer just as points though, right? Just as points. Well, how does it turn into Sid then? It turns into Sid, it's like by those points being connected to a skeleton. You know, it's like it's the wireframe outline of the character. That wireframe character is automatically fleshed out by the computer and meet Sid. Hello. And so it like, it all gets put back together in real time. In real time. Again, there's no leg time here. This is all live. Yeah, it's all live. It's like you're producing a live show, really. Exactly. That's how it works. Oh, unbelievable. Uh It takes them two and a half days to shoot one 30-minute episode. CG movies take years to make. So that's something you guys can do with the digital puppetry that you can't do with the regular CG animation. You can have a director come in and talk to the character and give them notes. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very special interactive environment. It really brings live action back into CGI. It, yeah. just, it lives and breathes 
like literally in that moment. Like all hyperactive four-year-olds, though, sometimes Sid can be a pain. Sid has kind of a big head, you know, too. <laughs> I imagine that, you know, there's some... I, ears were hard. This thing on? Uh, one of our episodes where he was trying to cover his ears, and I was like, I'm not covering it. <laughs> I kept having to find it over and over, and they're not in the same spot. So. And I imagine you have to interact with, with objects here. Like, yeah. what's this? This is like a soccer, soccer ball? ball. Yeah. Soccer ball, magic ball. Right now. As you can see, it's like when we pick this up, uh, and if the camera is like shows like one of the big screens, we have a floating ball. And now it's like, really freaked. Yeah. All this crazy playground action can be captured from four different angles. They can even do steady cam style shots. But the key to it all is coordinating. Course, uh, can you pause for a so where? Of course, yeah, you saw from my Mar Rushmore video. But what is your opinion towards Sid the Science Kid uh, to show in general? If you've seen episodes of it. Okay, well, I, the first time that I did see it, I, like, when I had, like, this Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog DVD in the previews, it was featuring Sid, the science kid, of trying to measure his room, so he uses himself as a ruler. So, I was like, why does this kind of just stick with me a little bit? But, how, or, like, how was it for you, again? Well, for me, it was really great, because it was one of those shows I would watch in science class, along with, yeah, the Magic School Bus, or Bill Nye the Science Guy. And it stuck to me, and it was one of those good shows in PBS Kids at the time. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, Master Man, do you have an opinion with Sid Science Kid? Do you ever watch it? I watched a few episodes of it. Like, basically, here's how I basically heard of it. Like, I mean, basically, I played the P – when I was a kid, I played I played the PBS, game, PBS Kids games on pbskids.com. And that was so then I found Sid the Science Kid there, and I played his game first before I watched the show. Oh my god, yeah. I, I used to play uh, the PBS Kids games as well. Like, not just, yeah, Sid the Science Kid, there was also the, the Carriage George games, Dinosaur Train, anything like that. It was phenomenal. Even Arthur, too. That, too, yes. <laughs> yeah. hey, what about you, Christian, if you have an opinion? For Sith and Science Kid, I used to watch it a lot. Um, uh, I don't care what character it is, but yeah, it was a pretty good show. Cool. And when I heard his voice, I honestly thought that it was like, wait, is that Sean Marquette? I was like, nah, probably not. I don't know. Yeah, I hear Sean a little bit of Jason Morris than if you hear a little bit too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you hide the other half of Sid? <laughs> okay, okay, bye, bye. Missy. <laughs> it turns out Sid's brain, aka Drew, is hanging out in a control booth just a few yards away. So wait, you don't have to get into the big reflector gear? I'm lucky. Uh, yeah. All I have to do is stand here with my hands shackled to these awesome things. Uh -huh. And then, yeah, these control Sid's face. So the left hand here is on this awesome joystick. It's like just a big game. And um, yeah, and these control his eyebrows and eye movements up, down, left, right, and blinks. And wide stuff, and then I have a little expression on here if he wants to look sort of scared. That's Wait, a... each finger, each little finger yeah. is, is doing different things on his face. Drew makes Sid talk using this glove, and it's way cooler than a Nintendo Power Glove. This controls a mouth and some other uh, shapes of the mouth, the opening close, and some expressions. So if I lean in on this, he smiles, and if I lean back, there's a frown of his mouth. So, That's awesome. Yeah, and I and, and and we programmed that too. And I did that because it was intuitive. Like I found out when I was getting happier, I would just kind of lean into it. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the great thing about digital puppets is that, unlike the regular felt puppets, you get all these different, you know, mouth shapes that you can never get with just a cloth puppet. I also have foot pedals down here. Yeah. Steve Vai. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wawa is the future. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No. This is uh, this is an eye tracker. I can actually lock the eyes to a camera. He has okay. this big monologue at the end of all the shows. And so. What? So must I heard something. For me to actually ride that while her head is moving around, would be really difficult. Mm -hmm. So I have this little foot pedal here, and it just locks dead on the camera. Okay, so you're controlling the eyes, the mouth, the facial expressions, you're doing the voice, mm -hmm. communicating with Misty, yeah. you're looking at two different camera angles, yeah. and you have five other actors here that you communicate with. Right, and sometimes I eat lunch at the same time. It's awesome. <laughs> it's a major multitasking. Yeah. 
So, Drew, can I see how you and Misty do this? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. My headphones on. Hello, I'm Sid the Science Kid. Here I am at my school playground. Oh, now, so that's usually it'll be full of friends, but um, mm -hmm. hey, it's just me. And I'm here with my best friend, Soccer Ball. This kid is a natural, and he's not just into tech, he is tech. I gotta talk to him. I am totally stoked to have an exclusive interview with four-year-old whiz kid, Sid the Science Kid. Sid, thanks for being on the show. Hey, thank you, Nar. Sid, how was, uh, how was school today? It was great. Yeah, we learned all about roly-polies. Roly-polies? Well, yeah. Well, what did you learn? Well, we learned that there are crustaceans. Did you learn about uh, crustacean reproduction yet? Uh, no. I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. I, I'm not going to be the one who teaches you about reproduction. All righty. <laughs> Sid, um, you know, we both host our own science show, right? Yeah, I know. How cool is that? It's totally cool. I know. <laughs> I, I've worked with robots and lasers. Oh, cool. I've worked with rulers and measuring jars. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Sid, you've been doing this show like longer than I've been doing my show. Do you have any pointers for me? Um, uh, just relax and be yourself okay. and um, do what your teacher tells you. In, in my world, my teacher's my producer. Is that cool? Um, yeah, sure. That sounds like a good idea to do what your producer tells you. <laughs> Thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Nar. Later, dude. Later. There you have it. Two puppeteers, 36 cameras, and a digital production team all to create the most amazing four-year-old I've ever met. Next on... So that's how they do it. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Got another one here. Nice. There you go. Uh, be what? what, Matt Dillon? Oh, for a minute. Oh, okay. Performers will, will come out here and deliver lines in character. Hey, and it's Ice Bear. What's up? They will say a line from a movie. Ha ah, ah, ha, you're so funny. <laughs> I don't remember Ice Bear. Oh, wait, yeah, that was that one time we had a personality change. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll shout out the name. Ready? We're all on Sesame Street right now. Woo! Okay, here we go. <laughs> you're talking to me. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Sure it is. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> that's a good uh, video about this where uh, CNC characters uh, quote movie quotes. Hmm. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> There's no crying in baseball. <laughs> this one goes to eleven. Snakes. Why did that be snakes? <laughs> That was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna go find some more videos you can put up or whatever you want on. Oh no, who's auditioning to be deaf? 
That's Master Mon. Good job. Good. Huh. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I can actually do the death whistle. Whoa. Yep. Hey, it's pretty good. Uh, where to? Uh, well, 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 in order to just buy us some time, I just can't get enough of you know the twelve days of Christmas. So you already know where this is gonna go. Again, I'm glad you showed me that because that is really dope. It sure is. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. Are you familiar with the show called Sister Sister? Yeah, probably I've heard that from Ted too, but not really. Uh, it stars Tia Tamara. Uh, well, not me, but my mom has, but I saw a little bit of it. It stars Tia Tamara. What? Wait, what was the show called? Because you said Sesame something. What'd you say? Sister Sister. Sister Sister. Oh. oh. I used to watch that show when my mom when I was little. That was a good show. Oh, dope. Mm -hmm. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Why is it anyway? Who's that black guy again? Uh, what Wayne Brady? Thank you, thank you. If you can remember, how'd you get introduced to Wayne Brady? Um, it was mainly um, heavy guy deal. Good one. And no. assuming for you, the Loud House Fresh. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, for me, yeah, it was kind of loud house too here and there. I was just shocked to see him in Everybody Hates Chris. Huh. 
And we'll, and we'll technically, I did first hear him by name when uh, this dude, one of the best dudes that I've ever, that I've ever like, <laughs> got to thank their work. Animated James animated or animated James. He was good back in the day, but now if you want to know about what he did, which I don't want to tell, but he did this T T Titans video and it was actually kind of a little bit funny. It's about like coming up with ideas about certain episodes, but then Robin blows up the producers and then they decide to go improv. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there were these six geese, <laughs> and these geese. Oh, so we got six geese alive. Oh, please! 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 Oh,
Never gets old. So you found something? No. Yeah. Uh, so and also, boy, shit. and my bloody hell exhausted. I'm playing a criminal's game, and of course, you know the scene in the movie where Violet and Dash are in that force field, run away from the bad guys. Oh, you reached that level? Oh, wow. Oh, you know about that level? I mean, I'm like, okay, well, I briefly saw The Incredibles game on, like, when I had, like, the DVDs of it. I always watch it, love, love watching previews or anything on there, but I was like, oh, okay, that looks kind of cool. But, man, it was so hard. I've been on that level one hour and two minutes. That's how hard it is. That's what Dang. she said. <sighs> All right. Yeah, I so. Here we go. Oh, Drama Island Impressions, take one. Welcome back, campers. Whoever does not receive a marshmallow must walk the dark chain. I cannot wait to do the turn drama. Losers. So, and I mean, so I'm on my. I was going to keep this a secret, but for Chris, I was going to play him as Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh. But you can continue. And you can never come back. Ever. We need to toughen these kids up. Outside, nobody appreciates my food. <laughs> Man, I love chess cooking, but it really gives me gas. Man, if I have to get <laughs> going fart one more time, I'm going to lose it, man. This song goes out to someone special here at camp. You guys are not ready for Tyler. Woo! Awesome! You guys think you're so funny. Let's see how you like it when someone messes with your love life. Booyah! You guys, we should totally chill out, man. Go for a sir. 
Total Drama Island and Brad. Thanks for that. That was all. That was awesome. And here's another one from his channel. Here you go. I just put it in the chat. I do voice impressions. You got a problem, Pinky? <sighs> you got a problem, Pinky? I do voice impressions. Ten thousand years will give you such a crick in the neck. Ten thousand years crick in the neck. I do voice impressions. All that, all everything. Earth is a protected oh, wild Earth is a protected wildlife reserve. I do voice impressions. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact. Uh, he actually met Kevin Michelson and he did the impression and Kevin was out outstanding by it. God damn. Yeah. It oh yeah, thanks, Kristen. I was gonna say, Kristen, I know you follow this guy on Instagram, if I'm not wrong. Oh, I, I am? Uh, I guess I forgot. Yeah. I mean, you follow everybody. There's no surprise there. Because of this video, um, I just put in the chat. Here you go. I just put another video from the private chat. It's over, Goldar. Give it up. Uh, oh, yeah. I bet uh, show you that I would next time we um chatted, but I guess it's not you again. What are you gonna do without your power boy, big shot? <laughs> it's over, Goldar. Give it up. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> All oh, right, and I guess it's right on there. I do voice impressions. You'll never catch me, Krabs. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Yeah! You'll never catch me, Krabs. I Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Yeah! I do voice impressions. If you want to choose between SpongeBob and all the money I have in my pocket, which would you take? If you had to choose between SpongeBob and all the money I, I have in the most frustrating scene ever, too. I do voice. What? I said that was the most frustrating scene, too, because Kraz chose the money over SpongeBob. Yeah. Voice impressions. Well, these claws ain't just for attracting mates. Well, these we claws ain't for attracting mates. people, let's be smart and bring it off. Oh, so now the uh -huh. so is going to preach to us. Wait, take that, Impressions. Don't they know I'm busy spoiling myself? Don't they know I'm busy spoiling myself? My new voice impression. Oh, wow. This guy stinks! Ah, oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. That's good. The my late guy. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I do voice oh, so that was Fred, because even though that was Doug Lawrence, I couldn't tell from a distance who that was. Mm -hmm. yep. And here you go, another one. My leg is in love. My leg is in love. Oh my god, Bastify, you just had to bring me there. That was the last, I mean, technically the last episode that it saw, but the real last episode of Spongebob it did see was, of course, Mimic Madness. Um, uh, I'm Veronica Taylor. I'm here with Ethan. Um, so, Ethan, I hear you can do a pretty good Brock impersonation. Why, yes. Hey, Ash, what do we say when Pikachu is in a gym battle? Uh, I don't know, Brock. Maybe I would say, Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Taylor. I'm Veronica Taylor. I'm here with Ethan. Um, so, Ethan, I hear you. Uh, we'll see what other ones. Oh, All right, and here's a, another one. What if celebrities had road rage? Boy, if you don't get off my black ass, I tell you, you bring it, you buy it. Tell your insurance agent what kind of car you just hit. <laughs> <laughs> now you listen here. I have places to be. 
Get out of my way! Man, I just want to know why, why, why you're trying to merge without using your blinking signal. That's something you would definitely say. Using your blinking signal. Yes, the last time I heard someone do an absolute hilarious spot on Eddie Murphy impression was on this freaking impression show challenge mm. show. Like it, it was, it was one of the best things I've seen. Another day, another day. Eddie Murphy, I oh not Instagram post that um and he brought up a joke that Desiree told him that was racist. Well, oh. I got it. Now I gotta go. Now I gotta go back because I was just wondering. Uh, uh, United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama. Haiti, no. Jamaica, no. Peru. Wait, wait, wait. Robbie, Robbie, not today, Robbie. United we appreciate you. Not today. Mexico, Panama, Haiti, uh, Jamaica, Peru. Uh, uh, you need to do it again. Yeah. What if celebrities had road rage? Boy, if you don't get off my black ass, I tell you, you bring it, you buy it. Tell your insurance agent what kind of car you just hit. <laughs> now you listen here. I have places to be. Get out of my way! Man, I don't know. Why, why, why are you trying to merge without using your blinker signal? I can't handle if you're not using your blinker signal. Oh, I man, don't get it. Hey, whoa, 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 I'm driving here. Oh, my God. Has everyone taken a leap from their good senses? You almost hit me. Yes, hello. You're on with Dr. Frazier. <laughs> People of the road, listen to me. We are not barbarians, and we are not the French. What if celebrity? Mm, let's see. Here you go. Guys, it's me, uh, Voice of Max Goof. We are at Momocon in Atlanta. What are you doing? I'm the Voice of Max Goof. We're here at Momocon. How bad, man? <laughs> Someone tackle him! Guys, me, uh, Let's see here. What was another one I saw? Oh, yeah, this one. All right, and here we go. What's going on, guys? It's Ethan Trace here, and I'm back at it again with some more impressions for you guys. Thank you all so much for all the love you showed on my last video of Impressions of the Lion King. But today we're going to take a little different route. We're going to go back to one of my other favorite childhood memories, Power Rangers. So in the words of Tommy Oliver, it's Morphin Time! Ay, 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 ay! Zardon! We have escaped! You have been chosen to be part of an elite team to protect the Earth from Rita Repulsa. You will be known as the Power Rangers. Ah! After 10,000 years, I am free! It is time to conquer Earth! I am Lord Zed, sworn enemy of the Power Rangers, and I will not stop until they meet their demise. What are you gonna do? We're going, Green Ranger. Oh, don't worry, Vito. We're just going to Power Rangers for this time, for sure. Time Force! Time Force! 2001. That means no time for Who's Rancid? <laughs> it's a villain from Time Force. Jeez. Then we are the same! Oh no, Rancic. It looks like someone has destroyed our yes serum. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel down below. Share this with all your friends who love Power Rangers. And I put another one here. Huh. I gotta go, guys, because uh, from my side, you are glitching a lot. And plus, I need to go to bed. But I did enjoy doing the stream with you. Twitter, but, but yes, appreciate it. All right. Bye -bye. See you, Christian. See you, man. You guys have a good night, and God bless you all. God bless Simply. you, too. And to you, it will. And go with Christ. Here, I Bye. know a lot of guys have been requesting Bye -bye. for some impression videos lately. Well, today's your lucky day. Today, I'm going to do some voiceovers and impressions from one of my favorite movies, The Lion King. I got a few scenes lined up for you. I hope you guys like it. So Robbie and I didn't see you at the presentation of Simba. That was today. Oh, I feel simply awful.
Must have slipped my mind. Yes, well, as slippery as your mind is, as the king's brother, you should have been first in line. I was first in line. Till the little hairball was born. I shall practice my curtsy. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. Oh no, Mufasa. Perhaps you shouldn't turn your back on me. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> well, 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 Bonsai, what have we got here? Mmm, I don't know, Shinzi. Uh, what do you think, Ed? <laughs> Just what I was thinking. A trio of trespassers, and quite by accident, I can assure you, simple navigational error. Wait, 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 wait. I know you. You're Mufasa's little stooge. Hi, ma'am, in the king's major domo. Open stay, they are. Open stay. Oh, you going, open stay? What's the hurry? We'd love you to stay for dinner. Yeah, we can have whatever's lying around. <laughs> Make mine a cub sandwich. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what? And, hey, do we order this meal to go? No, why? Cause there it goes! Jeez, it's a lion! Run, Pumba, move it! Hey, Timon, it's just a little lion! Look at him! He's so cute and all alone! Can we keep him? Pumba, what are you nuts? We're talking about a lion! Lions eat guys like us! But he's so little! But he's gonna get bigger! Maybe he'll be on our side! <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I ever heard! Uh -huh. Hey, I got it! What if he's on our side? You know, having a lion around may not be such a bad idea! So we're keeping him? <laughs> of course! Who's the brains of this outfit? Uh -huh. My point exactly! Jeez, I'm fried! Let's get out of here! Find some shame! Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Just remember to subscribe at the. Uh, there's anything else? Oh, there's this one I guess to show. All right. There you go. You heard of semaglutides, Kozempic, Manjaro. Martin, this could be dangerous. Huh. Oh, hello there. You're probably wondering why the red suit. Well, that's because it's my time of the month, and I don't want bad guys to see me bleed from my special place. But anyways, you're probably wondering, is that really Ryan Reynolds? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Who knows? We couldn't afford him. Guy's an asshole. But anyways... There's two things I hate in this world. One, shitty impression videos. And two, shameless self-promotion. Which, by the way, Deadpool 2 killed at the box office. Thank you for that. But anyways, we got some killer Marvel impressions lined up for you today. So strap in, babies, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Especially in the spandex. Ah, oh, it rides up in just the right places. Four or five moments. Ah, oh, that song is copyrighted. Like the music, the music is copyrighted. Like, yeah, like it was one of the many songs like that I finally managed to freaking own, but still, it's just kind of like a little bit. People think being a hero is full time job. Wake up, a hero. Sorry, I was muted for a second. What'd you say about Colossus? No, not Colossus. The music playing during Coloss during Colossus, like it's copyrighted. Oh, okay. I did not write that on teleprompter. Deadpool. I actually just threw that in there for last minute shits and giggles, but oh my god, he actually read it! Ah! I will bring you home, oh friend. And I ask for only one thing in return. Don't get in my way. Logan, why until most of you are smoking in the mansion, notwithstanding, continue smoking that in here, and you'll be put under the belief that you're a six-year-old girl. You do that? I'd have Jean braid your hair. Oh, sorry, Professor. I'm not finished smoking this yet. Hold it! What? In your ass. Really? Really? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Anyways, now on to Earth's tiniest heroes. 
Oh, hey there, it's Tony Stark, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist, yada, yada, yada. You've heard it all. All right, Jarvis, go ahead and give me an update. What's the audience engagement level on this impressions video right now? Engagement level has dropped to 75%, sir. Oh, boy. Jarvis, let's go ahead and bring in the big boys before they lose interest. All right, bring it Thunderhead. Right away, sir. Thank you, Jarvis. Loki, dear brother, we must go back to Asgard. <laughs> Father will be waiting for us there. Time now. <laughs> Open up the Bifrost. Yes, brother. There's this thing called my ear, and you're shouting right in it. Whoever holds his hammer may he be worthy, possess the power of Thor. I am Prince T'Challa, king of Wakanda, owner of all the world's vibranium. Wakanda forever. Reality is often disappointing. That is, it was, and now, Reality can be whatever I want it to be. Oh no, Jarvis, what's going on right now? Give me an update. There's been a breach in the level sector. Oh no, not him, not the big guy. Oh dear, oh no. Uh. Well, uh, on that note, I had nothing to do with that. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this loser's channel down below. I think there's more videos coming or something like that, whatever. Wade, are you in Professor X's study again? Well, I guess that's my cue to leave. Until next time, babies. Toodles. <laughs> All right, so we have until about either like 10, like 10, 20 or 10 o'clock, whichever comes first. But this is going great so far. Yeah. By the way, what do you think oh. of Ethan so far? Yeah, he's an he's an he's an amazing guy. Yeah. What if celebrity? Yeah, because uh, what do you call it? If you didn't know, if you've seen him from previous Odin and Mantos, I've used him for Lord Zed. Christian used him for Gonzo and Hiago. Uh, yeah, because I checked his credits, he has acted before in some shows here and there. But I found him on Instagram back in 2022, and yeah, he's he's an amazing guy overall. Well, well, I like considered. New, subs new subscriber. Yeah, because what do you call it? If it was a little bit minor thing, I remember suggesting him to you for Timon, but it's okay if you didn't use him because I was like, okay, yeah, he could do the voice overall. Oh, so, well, 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 yeah. I'm your guy. Okay, okay, I'm gonna need you to slow down a bit. Can you go back to the part about your dad? Wow, that sounds like a lot of trauma. You say it all came from your mother? How? Yeah, what's up with that? So, it looks like you have some daddy issues. <laughs> you know, I was on a date with this girl one time and we were in the middle of doing it and she was like, oh, daddy. And I'm like, whoa, hey, I'm not your daddy. <laughs> hey, what is this? like Alabama. Free from Alabama. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, very, mm, very interesting. Mm. So you're telling me you have anger issues. Because oh, some yeah, that's, idiot that's in a big, that's diner a put on what's new pussycat 21 times on a jukebox. Wait, have I met you before? Sweetheart, perhaps that's the reason you're afraid to get intimate with a woman. Harvey's because a good actor, though. Like, where did you first get introduced to him? Mrs. Delphire or um, what was it? Uh, Mulan. Uh, okay, I was shocked to find out that he was in Mulan, but I believe that it was uh, Mrs. Delphire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was also a fam guy, if you didn't know, also. Oh, yeah, well, that does depend if I do. Uh, remember when Brian found out that he had a son and he, he voiced his um, ex wife? Oh, Did my that? God. Yeah. <laughs> Think about your mother, oh. son. Inside the heads. Wow. So you can't get up out of bed. You can't eat. You can't sleep. Have you heard of. Takatsubo cardiomyopathy. It's called broken heart syndrome. Wow. Now hold up just a second. I signed up to hear about you wanting to get intimate with your brother. That is just weird and nasty. Uh, so you say uh, your mother didn't love you. <laughs> yeah, I can. I know what. Why did you love me, Mom? Why did you love me? <laughs> well, well, well. Uh huh. Man, that right there is interesting. Huh. Oh my. Oh my. <sighs> wow. This, this 
certainly is a lot to unpack here. Um, tell me about your childhood. Do you have a brother? I have a brother. Oh, that's very interesting. Very interesting. So you're stressed out about your job. Have you brought your boss picture of Spider-Man yet? All right, first let me start out by saying I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. I don't think you think me as your doctor or therapist. No, I think of me as your your amigo. And let's talk mano y mano. Anything you ever say in here is all right, all right, all right. Hmm. Huh. Anything else from this shit I'm looking for? Um, all right, well, whatever it is, just let me see if it's safe or not. Oh, I can't do it. I'm... Uh, it's best of Patrick or Burton. Warburton, and and yeah, like it's yeah. First, didn't you make a compilation on your second channel about him? Okay, yeah, that's only involves him like screaming and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's see. Seeing probably anyway. Check to see if, like anything might be like extended. Mm -hmm. and, I, I'm not really sure. I'm so full. Full of what? Estrogen? Come on, take the skirt off, you like, pansy. Tell you what, like, we can skip <laughs> some if you want. Like, it's it's 22 minutes long. Like, like, uh, like I, I do see that, dude. But I was just, like, making sure, like, if everything is, like, safe. Game. Oh, I said I can't. Eat it. Eat no. the damn steak. Come on, what are you I waiting can't. for? It, no, no, no. no. Yeah. I said I'm not hungry! <laughs> Now, huh? Where is it now? I check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see? Full it's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorites. All right, found one. It's your number one, Star Wars. Oh, there, here you go. Oh wait, wait, hold up. Uh, I just want to like reminisce on some, on some stuff, lazy. Uh, right, the poison, the poison. I mean, but it's, it was still so like fascinating to know that he was in like Men in Black too. Haven't really seen it, but uh... crowded. It's like one of the best ones from the trilogy. All right, like I did see the third one and a little bit and the first one, but <laughs> man, what is wrong with you? To neuralize me? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You took me to a public place so I wouldn't make a scene. You're making a scene. Look, let me ask you a question. Oh, Why you join them? oh, he even yeah. pulled voice the video game character. With no um, magic. Yes, I, 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 I already saw game. the movie. Like I am aware that he does do like voices, even though like it's his same voice. But overall, he's just an awesome, hilarious guy. Yes. Yep, everyone loves him. <laughs> okay, why does that look kind of wrong? Time to pay. No, I like those ads where they fake advertise a game, even though it's not like le the legit, like the real thing afterwards, because there's there's sometimes scams. Well, yes. well, yeah, there is that because, of course, yes, people are sick. <laughs> You've got to be the worst Viner I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me, mate. You mean to get yourself a girl, mate? If he were telling the truth, he wouldn't have told us. Unless, of course, he knew you wouldn't believe the truth, even if he told you. Oh, Lois, remember when old school Peter Griffin sounded like this? Now, why did they pee the Griffin sounds like this? <laughs> hey, man, will you come up my feet? I'm not feeling well. Ah, uh, sure thing, Lois. <laughs> okay, Lois, don't be mad, but uh, I think I pissed off God. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> hey, guys, look, he's handicapped. Damn it, Peter, I'm a dad, so I gotta tell you, I prefer to be called handicapable. You'll be falling in love. <laughs> <laughs> California girls. Uh, 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 it's such a beautiful day outside. Yes. Hey guys, look at the cripple Damn, hanging out the window. <laughs> All right, Chris, you're ready to go get your school supplies and your slacks. But Dad said we're getting pants. You're getting slacks. Yeah. Right, the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Hi there, kind of mama. <laughs> ah, sassy. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty. Hello, 911 emergencies. There's a handsome man in my house. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's just me. Man, I'm pretty. Look down, be like, yeah, you Okay. Let's go. Be loud. Another round of shots. Turn it down, boy. Hey, Little John, food's here. What? Food is here. What? The dinner's here. Okay. When was the last time any of you filthy motherfuckers had a shower? Because y'all smell like the inside of a booty hole. Put me back on the vine. 
I see all the white people are doing Family Guy impressions again. Man, come on, change it up a bit. But y'all, let me tell you a story about this man. He do all these impressions, man. But can he look like the people? <laughs> it's with Fusia. How are you doing? If there's one thing I hate, it's traffic. So get the hell out of my way. I got places to be. Hey, my ball. Oh, hello. Is this your ball on my lawn and your ankle in my trap? I started wearing bro tanks and someone called me a fuckboy. What the hell is that? If Trump becomes president and builds this wall, make it short enough so I can get the hell out of it. Every time I'm on camera, they always make me look like I'm high as a kite, which coincidentally is what Ben Franklin used to discover electricity. I'll start off from us. I'll be wrong, Fuss, yeah, screw you guys, I'm good. Whatever, you fat bastard. Dude, I thought he'd never shut up. Oh, oh. Can, we, can we go to the mall, please? I don't know, what do you want to buy? More open code shoes? Come on, buy! You want to know where I got these scars? Maybe he was born with them. Maybe it's Maybelline. To them, you're just a freak. Like your mother in bed. My mother's dead, you asshole! Doing what's popular is not always right, so don't do the popular girl in school because she probably has herpes. <laughs> <laughs> My New Year's resolution is simple. Kill Batman! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot more delight in being really, really ridiculously good looking. And I plan on finding out what that is. Yeah, it reminds me of those of the other uh, people do like voice impressions like here and there. It's very hilarious and uh, like Vincent Marcus. Exactly, Vincent Marcus, Vincent Marcus, uh, Jeremy Olinsky, I think that was his name, and Thomas, Thomas Sanders. Sanders. Yeah, yeah, Thomas Sanders was one of the best ones. Mm. Well, I gotta head out, but I did appreciate this. Yeah, all right. So, so, uh, <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, you gents have a good night, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Okay. You too. Right, so mm. it's have about like ten o'clock. That's when like it's gonna end it. So what is it? All right. All right. See you guys. Later. See ya. Nickelodeon is proud to present the Mighty B, the brand new series that's going to cause a major buzz. Co-created by Amy Poehler, Fairly Odd Parents writer ah, Cynthia fuck. True, and SpongeBob Square. That's a couple of clip. Well, duh. Uh. Pence director Eric Weiss. This show packs some serious muscle and lots of laughs. Right. The Mighty oh, B is right. a um, story about Bessie Higginbottom. She's nine and three quarters years old. And she um, lives with her mom and her brother in San Francisco. She's at great age where girls believe they can be anything and do anything. Every day is a challenge for Bessie. Bessie's enthusiasm for things can be a little intense. One. The first spark of the idea for the Mighty Bee right. came from a photograph that my mom had sent of me when I was six years old. And we thought it might be funny to create a aspirational superhero. <laughs> 
Hey, yo, two, two, uh, 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 yeah. Ben is uh, Bessie's little brother, and he is sort of a nudge. Bessie's very cool to it. He oh. leads him behind a lot. I can help. Every superhero needs a sidekick. He actually idolizes his older sister, and she rejects him. One of my other favorite characters of the Mighty Bee is Happy, the sidekick dog that goes wherever she goes. Where's Finger? Finger is Bessie's friend that she takes and gives advice to. Oh, Finger, don't be like that. You're gonna love camping out. Don't you want a break from city life? The character Rocky that I play, he is a cool kid. He's a, a skater. He's the leader of a band. Being back at Mick, it's, it's great. Bessie Higginbottom is part of the, uh, the Honey Bee Troop, and this is a troop of girls who face challenges together, and these girls are a collection of all different personalities. Portia is very materialistic, um, kind of shallow. We're going to the mall to watch me try on makeup. Kind of mean, bossy. Introducing Happy Higginbottom. <laughs> Bessie's on a quest to find as many badges as possible. Only 4,583 badges to go! So that she can fulfill her dream of becoming the Mighty Bee, which is kind of this alter ego superhero that she has that gets her through her tough times. I sing like a butterfly and I float like a bee! Oh, yow, 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 yow! So yeah. we have one, one girl kind of taking on the world. IDB, only on Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah. I do remember, like, featuring, featuring on the... Oh, yeah, speaking of the promo, right. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, what's it? Did I say, by the way, does that take care of the image of the accident? Coming up next, it's Dexter's Laboratory on Boomerang. Uh, yes, the classical bumpers. And and then you come up next in the scene. Yep. Ah. What time is it? Jake time. Meet the dog who spins best friend. He talks. No way. He grows and he bends. You can see that this dog knows great tricks. Your dog fell into my stomach. He'll cheer you up when times are tough and say things like. You wish you were my butt. If you need some advice when you've made a mistake. Talk to someone with more life experience. Like Jake. Yeah. But then he goes on adventure time. Some crimes are making up rhymes. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Well, what about it? What about it? Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, I don't, like, uh, that was supposed to be also Finn and also Ice King, but yes. Uh, so, I don't know why, like, he could have just gotten his freaking stuff together, but, but yes, it was really cool. Yes, indeed. Oh, I actually ate A battle rages. Oh. Between light yes. and dark. Yeah, I mean, I'm a Star Wars fan. Yeah, I, I love, I love Star Wars. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It was difficult. I, like, I tried to pause it, but it won't let me pause for some weird reason. It's just acting stupid. But I'm, I'm glad to hear from your side. Yep. I hope you try them sometime. They're really good. I mean, uh, it. I mean, like, all it is is just like it's a play. I guess it's just like playing Orioles, but just with Star Wars faces on it. Let's. Like, I guess that's a special way of just promoting them. Yep. Oh, yeah. And the icing is different color, too. So, yeah. Oh, I'm mean, like, we will, like, if you did mention, I mean, like, it did see a little bit of red at first, but that's, that's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Adventure time. Oh, 
get you in some funky junk, brother. Uh, uh, uh. Don't miss an all-new episode of Adventure Time, Monday night at 8, 7 Central, only on Cartoon Network. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh. New episodes. Come on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, is that new? Check it out. Activate your squirrel flaps. Like this? Yeah. Oh, 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 no. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, 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 yeah. Ground shorts. What? New episodes. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Exercise. New episode, Monday, November 12th at 7.30, 6.30 Central, only on Cartoon Network. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Once upon yes, a time today. in the Pretty land good. of oh, I love Ooh. Ooh. Ah! What time is it? Time for an adventure time! Adventure fun! You should adventure with us all the time! Oh, well, okay. okay. Call me Adventurer. Adventurer! Oh, yes, I do! Four hours of adventures. This is totally great, isn't it? That's so awesome! To be great adventurers! Oh, yeah! Woo! Adventure time! Adventure Thon, Saturday starting at 2 on Cartoon Network. Now to get to the real other other blank uh, character character times that should have been there because duh, it, I mean, it's important. Yeah. What time is it? <laughs> Meet the boy with the awesome hat. He's righteous and heroic and totally rad. I'll slay anything that's evil. That's my deal. Evil's no good, so we know how you feel. Run the wrongs with his best friend, Jake. Ooh, I'd rather be dancing with babes. You gotta admit, this dude's totally tough. And there's no denying Vinny's. Into this stuff. Yeah. Now you know what this kid's all about. Adventure time is coming now. I'll hear saying. Smells out. Oh, there it is. Oh. Time is it? I think time. Who's this dude? I'm king of ice. A butt nasty villain who's not very nice. Pull lack of a princess and jam on his drums and wonders why they're not having any fun. The guys of the chooch, Finn would agree. It's lots of fun, too. Beat the tar at him with these. He's heartless and cold added up through the math. Everyone knows. You're a sociopath. You gotta believe everything that you heard. Adventure time's coming and here he is. Nerd. Okay, one, mm. one more, one more to just end it off. All right. Time is it? Time is it? Time is it? Saw saw this from uh, the see nostalgia critic when he was reviewing uh, the see Disney afternoon. It kind of, usually I do end off with hey everybody the Cartoon Network sign off, <laughs> which people said they were afraid of for some weird reason. But huh. I want to try something new. All right. Gaze into the future of the Disney afternoon. Here we are at Scary oh, Arena. That is funny. Like... Oh, oh, I just got to you off. What are you talking about? It's the mosquitoes. They're turning everyone into zombies. Don't touch that dial. There's magic in the air with I Dream of Genie coming up next on California 9. Uh, yeah, just simply the song of Brigadier with Disney Afternoon. It's just something about that. This sounds so awesome. But that's all the time that we got. So thanks, thanks, uh, Master Mike, for also for joining in on the anniversary as much as possible. But yep, anytime, uh, bro, anytime. Sure, 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 sure. And I'll be and, and hope to see you just on on, on Saturday. Yep, you too. All right.